Ha! Good shot of wine ought to work, right? Here's a little tip for you guys. If you ever want to know how to check your, see if your electric fences are working, just put your radio on AM. This is hilarious. Okay. Okay, so there's my antenna. I'm gonna touch it to the hot wire. Can you hear that? That in the radio? That's the hot shot working. Zapping the heck out of things. And uh, you can hear it. Especially in the evening, when the stratosphere is kind of moving around a little bit, you can really hear the uh, electric fence pulsing in the in the radio, especially the AM radio. But while I'm up here messing around with that stuff, I see I see a little little white charlotte calf there. It's mom's not around. Kind of makes me wonder what's going on. Something's not right with that thing. Let's go check this out. Always something on a farm, I tell you. What's wrong with you, baby? Huh? What's going on? It's been, a, it's been a couple days since I moved these calves up here. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but the cows are howling. This baby's all by itself. Oh, there's some cows over there. But, uh, yeah, this calf is definitely not perky. What's going on with you, buddy? Oh, yeah, look, look at his butt there, kind of by its tail. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Oh, boy. Okay, so what we got here is a classic case of coccidiosis in a little calf. I'm glad I caught him when I did. Um, so what coccidiosis is, it's pretty common. Yeah, you can really see it there. Um, but basically what coccidiosis is, it's a, a bug or bacteria that gets in, into their, their gut and it starts eating away at the inside of their guts and they start pooping lots and lots of blood out. You want to get on it as soon as you possibly can. This little calf right here, I, I think he's probably had it for a couple days. When I pushed him up here two days ago, he was really droopy and not really moving too fast. But since being here now, I can kind of see what the, what the problem, why it wasn't looking and feeling so good. He's got a classic case of coccidiosis. And let's see, I might just have something to treat him with in my pickup. I know I got a drencher in here somewhere. I got my rope. Luckily, always carry a rope with you when it's time to rope calves. I'll figure that thing out. What else do I got? I know I got a drencher in here. Oh yeah, look, right there it is. Boom. These things are super handy. It's like a big drench gun. I, I got it. I got. It, I think they're like 80 bucks or something. But uh, super handy to have, especially if you have like little calves, little weak calves. You can just grab them and give them a shot of milk or, or clostrum or whatever you want to. And it doesn't hold that much, but just enough for a fresh newborn calf. If you need to give it a quick shot of energy, just... And like this guy right here, I'm going to give him a shot of something to hopefully take care of that coccidiosis. Except I've got nothing. I've got water. Got a bottle of wine I bought for the missus. Um, do I have any pills in here? No pills. Yeah, I can see that cat. Classic case. Look at that. See, see him sticking his butt up in the air. Either one of two things happened. He got kicked really hard, or he's got really bad coccidiosis. Looks like he's trying to poop. Yeah. We better give him something. Well, sorry, sorry girly friend. I guess we're just gonna have to doctor him with a nice uh, 
Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I think I think it'll appreciate this. It ought to work. I mean, it's clearly needing some energy because it's not getting up. Let's see. I'll just give him a full dose. Good shot of wine ought to work, right? Well, now that I've got that taken care of, half a bottle there, and that ought to that ought to do him pretty good. Okay. Now let's see if I can't rope this sucker somehow. Where am I gonna put you guys? Okay, let's set this up here like this, somewhere. Hey, mama. Looks like a good spot to hold that. I'm gonna get my rope out and use my super ninja moves to capture that little booger. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting baby cows. Swing and a miss. It's okay, I miss all the time. Oh, son of a gun. This calf is getting on my nerves. Okay, guys. We're going to try some uh, first-person shooter action here for you. If you can't catch those calves the first time, especially a fast one like this, I might have to use my backup option, which is a four-wheeler. So we'll go try one more time. See what we can do. I'll Yeah, we're gonna need something with a little bit more speed. Let's just get out the old Hot Wheels. The wine's for the baby. That cow must really like some Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, damn it, I just stepped that cow poop again. Ugh. Now my four-wheeler won't start. Middle of nowhere. Problems of a real live modern day rancher, folks. I know what you're all saying. Get a horse. But I don't think the horse would have liked to have rode the back of my pickup for the last three days. And we're off. Now watch out for the old decapitator. Okay guys, you're gonna love this. Here we go, one-handed, one-handed calf toss roping. Left-handed, and I'm right-handed, just so you all know. See right about, there we go. Oh, I had it too, son of a gun. Has to be just right, right about there. Oh dang it. People are always asking me, hey John, how do you run calves off a four-wheeler? I tell them really it's pretty simple. You just gotta put your loop in here back and forth a few times so it can feed out pretty quick and easy. But you want to keep it out of your hands too. Oh here comes mama, she's not gonna be happy. Get just about enough to slip it over their head like that. This is how we do it, farmer style. Just like that. That's how I rode the calves off the four wheeler. Now you chase the calf back to the pickup where your medicine's at. You're nice and close, then you'll run over the rope. Watch out for the decapitator. There you go, put your tire on the rope. Right up to the front of that calf. Oh, my four wheeler's not heavy enough. We do have a bigger calf here. So I'm gonna do the old fashioned tie it off. I'm gonna bring him in a little closer. Do a good tie off here. Now go get your vintage, your favorite vintage wine. Here we go. Get him down. 
toss him. You kick me, I'm gonna be mad at you. And there we go. It's breathing good, it's not choking. 40 ounce wine chuck done. There you go, little guy. That ought to save you. Good baby. Good mama. And that, folks, is how it's done. I don't know if you've ever chucked half a bottle of wine, but I wouldn't want to get up right afterwards either. Okay, he's still laying down. That coccidiosis takes a lot of energy out of these calves. He had a couple moments of fast speed. Oh, there he goes, yeah. He's up. I would treat the whole herd. I just bought that pair at a sale barn about four weeks ago. Right with that girl. But uh, that's why I'm not gonna treat the whole herd. It'll take a couple days for that stuff to start working. I may try to come up tomorrow and give him another shot. Well, just like that, we got him doctored up there. Wasn't the hardest thing in the world to do, but we'll have to keep a close eye on that calf. And I didn't realize it this whole time. I thought I was having a hard time driving. <laughs> I had a flat tire. Well, that project's done. I know it's not the most conventional way to go about it for all you hardcore cowboy guys. But hey, job's done. And there's still a little bit of wine to impress the missus when we get home. <laughs> so come on, Arohan, white wine. Don't let me down. We've got a baby, baby on the line. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Or hopefully you learned how not to do something. I don't know. That option's yours. Just like liking and subscribing. That option is yours too. Thanks for joining me on this crazy adventure. I'm gonna wait till you see what we got in store tomorrow. To be honest with you, I have no clue what it's gonna be, but I'm sure it's gonna be something. All right, like, subscribe. You know the routine. If you don't like it, well then don't subscribe it. See ya.